In this video, we are going to understand how to send messages to an existing group using WhatsApp by online live support. So here my objective is that I have an existing group on WhatsApp. I want to send messages through some other application there. So here we have taken the example of Slack and every time a new message would be posted on Slack group, then automatically the same message is going to reflect on the group on WhatsApp that I have created. For this, we are going to integrate these two applications and the same thing can be done using Public Connect software. So here your trigger application will be Slack and your action application will be WhatsApp by online live support. Now, how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let's begin. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect. Here we have reached a landing page. Now I'm going to sign in as I'm an existing user. You can sign up if you are a new user and it is not going to take more than two minutes. Now, once I have signed in here, I have reached all applications page. So these are the various products of Pabli and here I'm going to click on access now for Pabli Connect as we are doing this integration using Pabli Connect software. Now this here is the dashboard of the application. On the right hand side you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here my objective is that I have got an existing group on WhatsApp and every time there is a message that I send on the Slack group that I am in, then automatically that message should be shared on the WhatsApp group. So I'm going to name it as send message to an existing group using WhatsApp by online live support. Let's click on create. Now, as we do that here, we have reached another window, which has got to extremely important events. One here is trigger. Another one is action. Now triggers and actions are the two principles on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. Basically action here is the response of your trigger application. Now as per this integration, my trigger application here will be Slack. Let's click on this and now comes the trigger event. So this is the event that is going to make this workflow run. And here it would be new message. Now on the right hand side, you can see it is written that this trigger will check for new data in 10 minutes. This basically means that this trigger application has a polling time of 10 minutes. So the workflow is going to run in every 10 minutes to fetch for new data. Now I'm going to click on connect. And as I do that here, Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Slack account. For this, I'm going to click on add new connection, connect with Slack. I have already logged into my Slack account. And here for the connection, it is asking me for the token type. Now, whenever I'm sending a message, it may or may not contain the URLs, videos, PDF files, etc. So you must use user as your token. Let's click on save. As we do that here, Pabli Connect is requesting permission to access the Pabli Slack workspace. So I'm going to click on allow. And as I do that here, we can see that the authorization has been successful. So now this means that Slack and Pabli Connect are now connected. Here we have to select the channel. To understand this, first I'm going to take you to my Slack account. So this is my Slack account and here these are the workspaces that I have created and I'm here working for Pabli workspace. Now within this workspace, I have created many channels. You can create your own channel by clicking on this add channels tab and then you can add certain people to your channel and then you're sorted. So I already have created a group, a channel. The name is online live support group and I have added a few people over here. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect and here I'm going to look for the channel that I have created. Here it is. Let's click on save and send test request. And here you can see that we have received the API response, but this is a blank response. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and here I'm going to write a test message. Okay. And now as I click on enter, let's go back to Pabli Connect, click on save and send test request once again. And here you can see that I have received the text that I have just posted on Slack. Now, what is my objective that this message should be posted on the group on WhatsApp that I have. So I'm going to choose my action application here as WhatsApp by online live support. And here the action event would be to send text message to group. Let's click on connect. So here Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with WhatsApp by online live support account. So here I'm going to click on add new connection. And now to set up this connection, we need a session ID. So to get the session ID, I'm going to take you to WhatsApp setup online live support. And here, first of all, I'm going to delete the previous session that we had. 
Now let's create a new session and as you do that here you can see that a QR code has appeared right in front. Now we are supposed to scan this QR code with the number through which we want to send the messages. So let me do the same. So once we have done that now we need the session ID. The session ID is displayed here on the address bar. So this particular number is your session ID. Let's copy this and paste this over here. Let's click on save to set up this connection and here we can see that WhatsApp by online live support is connected with Pabli Connect. Now here we have to mention the group ID and the message that we wish to send. But to get this group ID we will have to add another action step over here and this time the application again is going to be WhatsApp by online live support. And the action event here would be to get group information. Let's click on connect. I'm going to go ahead with the existing connection. And now here we have to enter the name of the group. So here I've got a few groups and I'm going to go ahead with public connect group. Let's click on save and send test request. So as I do that, this here is the group ID. So now I'm going to quickly copy this ID, go back to the next step and here I'm going to paste this ID. Why did I not map it? I have pasted it. Why? Because this is not going to change. Now once I have pasted this, I can always delete this particular step. Okay, so once I delete the steps, the number of tasks would be less. So I can always delete this step. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter the message here. So for this, I'm going to map the information again. Let's go to step one. And this here is the text message. So the method with which I have added the information here is known as mapping. And this is important so that every time the workflow runs, it can take the new data into consideration. Had I written this message manually, so even when there was a new message on Slack, so this particular message would have gone. The new message wouldn't have gone. So to avoid that, we map the information. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request. And as I do that here, we have received a message that the message has been successfully sent. So I'm going to take you to my WhatsApp group. And this here is the group that I've created. And yes, the message has been posted here, which is test message. So this basically means that our integration is a success, but we also need to check the same in real time. So I'm going to take you back to Slack group. And here I'm going to write another message. This is a test message to check integration. As soon as this message has been sent, then within 10 minutes, the same message will be posted on the group. So now we are going to wait for the few minutes and then we will check our WhatsApp group once again. So now it's been some time. I'm going to take you back to WhatsApp and here we can see that yes, we have received the message. So this basically means that our integration is a complete success. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect to understand what we have done. So here our trigger application was Slack where the event was new message. Then our action application was WhatsApp by online live support where we had received the group information. Now this particular step we can always delete. Why? Because we have already received the group ID. And now this is just a two step process. So our final action application was WhatsApp by online live support where the event was to send text message to group. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.